Hmm. That's better. I have to delete a load of stuff. So anyway, here we are. We're going to do the walk, which is we're by Millennium Green. We're on Ilkley Moor. Um, I think that's picking up. We are right here. And that's a swastika stone there. We haven't been there yet. We've only I've only filmed actually up by the cow and calf rocks. So we're going to walk up to White Wells. Um, I'll just get this on to film, so if anyone wants to read about it, then you can pause and read all this here. Because Ilkley has a lot of history behind it, which obviously you're seeing here. <laughs> um, so then that bit, and then this bit. And it also has about some features here. Um, I'll just have to go back. So there you can see that there. And here's the map. So there we go. And that's just advertising. It's lovely, of course. Everywhere's lovely in Ilkley. We're in the car park. And what have you got attached to you, Ben? He's been rolling. So there's a stream down here. Um, for time reasons, we probably won't be filming. Well, we're not really going this way, but I'll uh, maybe be able to zoom down to the water, perhaps. I know I'm pointing it at Ben right now, but oh, he's got an itch. Um, can we see water? A little bit. I can hear it. We'll see this on the. Hmm. Hmm. Right, come on, little Ben. Oh, I wonder what's on the back of there. Just, uh, just adverts, I think. Oh, there's some birdie things. I'll quickly get these on film as well. Ben's whining. He doesn't like that we're just standing here. There's a bird list there. Conservation Award. Marvellous stuff. Right, we need to go. Come on, little Ben. There's a lovely looking car there. The silver one. The poorly looking one. It's mine. Oh, look at this here. Wonderful stuff. So, I'm going to turn this on to me. Try not to knock it off. <laughs> I'm really excited because I just got a uh, passport pictures done. But oh my god, how cringeworthy. You can't, um, you're not allowed to smile. And the man kept, well, he wasn't doing it on purpose, but he was making me laugh. And so, it was so cringeworthy. They are the most horrific pictures I've ever seen in my life. Um, okay, I'm just going to pop this on to film for you. Oh gosh, we can't film all this. It's not picking up even. Basically, this is a Millennium Maze and we're going to film a couple of items of interest. I've got these on... on. I came up here and took a load of pictures, but that was back before I discovered filming so much better. Here's the start of the maze. Oh, the sun's meaning that I don't think anything's picking up. Um, well, I can't see a thing. Oh, look at Ben rolling. I can't even see if he, yes, he is on picture, on camera even. Let's see what he was rolling on. Does it have any relevance? <laughs> no, because the plaque's missing. So yeah, like, this here is all this like silly maze thing and what I was just trying to film was the other end of this which I'll zoom into from here so at least we can see it better it has all these like inscript carvings uh... oh that's better isn't it so and there's one at the other side as well which we are walking towards here we're not going to walk along the maze 
it has um, there's one which is particularly interesting I just can't remember where it is let's see Menston Preschool that says I'm on as usual feeling a bit pressured about time because I never have much time especially when filming so here's the other side and I'll just zoom in and show you if you look at the stem, the base even you see, I think it's like is it zodiac signs? I'm not sure they're so varied I'll film the other side oh yes, I've forgotten it has this writing on it so here we go straight the gates and narrow the way which leadeth unto life ah I don't think there's any writing on the other one though just on this one that's a famous saying isn't it but I cannot for the life of me think where from Anyway, you see over here we have all the moors behind these trees and I'm just actually zooming in because that mound at the top there is the rocks which I normally film at. So we really are over the other side. There's little Ben. Come on little one. Oh, you're having a wee. He's having a wee. Oh, I think you've got a good idea though because we'll go, go the way that he's, he is over here. Oh, look, there's a bridge and everything. Oh, Ben, we have to go the other way, love. Well, do we have to go the other way? Uh, go on, let's see. No, we do, because I want to film White Wells. I'll tell you what we could quickly film, though. Look at these wonderful trees. We'll film the water, because it might be nice. Or it might not be that interesting, even. Hmm. Well, this, I like this tree here. But... Come on, little Ben! Come on, little Ben! Good boy! So, we're going to walk um, up. This won't be on me for very long because um, in a minute we'll see White Wells and I want to turn the camera to show you it. So, oh gosh, that was just so cringeworthy though, getting those pictures done. It really was. I keep seeing um, orby things everywhere. And it's not unusual, but I don't normally see them when it is today. I have to turn this around. It's all Ben. You good? Ben, come on, come on, leave it. Good boy. So, White Wells is just beyond. I just need to check the road. Ben, wait. Good boy, just wait here a minute. All right, come on then. <coughs> Good boy. Now, when I was a kid, it's still there actually, White Wells is this building up yonder, which I'll zoom into in a moment. Down here, we have, um, there's a paddling pool. You can just see it. It's just there where you can see the water just beyond the grass um, so yeah as a kid we used to come up there and paddle in it in the summer time my friend when I was a teenager lives in one of those houses which you can see the buildings there backed onto the moors it would just be perfect to live backing onto the moors oh I've gone out of zoom and <laughs> Need to go back into it really. So we'll do that now. And here's White Wells. So White Wells was built um, because basically Ilkley ended up becoming a spa town in the Victorian times. And so White Wells has the quote unquote healing waters and there's like a plunge pool in that. So people would come to holiday to take the waters and uh, drink the waters and bathe in them and heal of course 
So let's see which way we should walk, we walk up. And if we were to go this way, um, which actually we're going to do, I think, we'll just have a little look and see if we can. Oh, we can get across this way. Good boy, Ben. So, this walk we're doing obviously now. Um, the moors look gorgeous, the heather's beautiful at this time of year. Oh, it's a bit muddy. Yeah, what was I going to say? So, this really isn't what I was going to say, but I'll just zoom in so you can see. There's the rocks up there. Well, here we are. We are at White Wells. I did start filming half an hour ago from the bottom of the... Uh, from the bottom of the uh, valley, well, the bottom of the hill, and then I got a phone call, and uh, of course it knocks off the filming. So annoying. Anyway, so I've had to carry on walking whilst talking because if I hadn't answered it, I know for a f without a shadow of a doubt that the person calling would have just called and called and called. It would have been futile. I wouldn't have been able to film a, a thing without it getting constantly knocked off. So anyway, here we are, we're at the top, um, we're by White Wells. I'm going to just show you across the valley before I show you what's behind me. So this is Ilkley. I'm having to stand in by the wall because it's actually a bit windy. So let's see. That was the college, that building there. This is the town, which you can see down here. I wonder, can we see the swimming pool from here? We can. Yeah, I just spoke. That there, that blue, is the outdoor pool. This is Middleton Woods behind it. I just spoke. I'll come out and zoom a bit so you can see. The moors at the top over there are called Langbar. There's a point at the top of that hill which is called Beamsley Beacon, um, where they used to have a fire. If the, you know, like. In the olden days, if they wanted everybody to know, there was going to be an announcement or something. Um, over this part of the moors, like at the end of those trees, um, is the swastika stone, which is really famous. Which is uh, the next area on the list of things to, to film. And over here... Uh, can we see it from here? Well... The opposite side of those woods is where the cow and calf rocks are. You can see some rocks up there. They're not from the cow and calf as such, but obviously clearly the same kind of rocks. So let's go out of zoom and we can show you. Hey, we'll just have a quick peek. It's, oh gosh, I keep losing my grasp over the English language today. Panning around the uh, valley so you can see it better. And then I'm going to turn around and film what I'm standing back in front of. Just let this lady walk past with her dogs. <laughs> hey. So, and we're in the wind as well, which isn't ideal. Um, I just need to get a little bit further away, really, to film it better. You can see elements of it. Good boy, Ben. Sorry, I won't hurt you. <laughs> Good boy. So yeah, this is it. This is White Wells, um, which basically it was built in the Victorian times because Ilkley was built around, it was a spa town, it was built, it was already here before then, but it was like redeveloped as a spa town in the Victorian era. And people would come to drink the healing waters and um, there's a plunge pool in here, which people would, just walking back because I don't want to fall. <laughs> which people would uh, bathe in and heal from their terrible ailments. So, we you up to little Ben? Does that make you jump? Yeah, it's really rather unique, actually. You don't see buildings like this everywhere. <laughs> um, especially with the healing waters within. Well, I'm calling it healing waters. I'm not necessarily saying that they are healing waters, but that's, like, what they're believed to be. Really, they're just <laughs> natural spring waters from the moor. And behind here we have the beautiful Heather all in blue. There's a white building just below me. Uh, I'm very conscious of 
because I'm standing in the wind and I'm trying not to turn around too much. Down here, Oh, by the way, if things suddenly end, it's because my phone is being called again. This row of houses, the first row here, just at the edge of the moor. Um, a good friend of mine lives in one of, well, her mum lived in one of those. So that was quite cool because, obviously, it got onto the moors. I used to stay there a lot on weekends and stuff. Um, that's why I was a teenager. She's a trapeze artist type person now off to join the circus <laughs> anyway moving on where should we move to you see it's thrown me because everywhere that I was going to film I've already walked up but I'm actually on a schedule because in actual fact looking at the time it's cringeworthy cringeworthily late I'm going to show you the back of the building in a second here it is just so beautiful, especially if we can get it with the clouds above, which isn't working so well because it's so close there. I'm actually, literally on the floor. <laughs> so anyway, put myself in briefly. Gosh, so annoying that I did all that filming and well, I didn't do that much. That's the thing. But I'd started it and we're going to walk all the way up here. Such a nice walk up. Much nicer walking up than it will be walking down. But never mind, we're going to have to start walking down. So, oh, this beautiful sun in front of me. I think I'll turn this around so you can see it. In a moment, you'll be able to see if I don't drop it with the phone. <laughs> um, maybe it's not picking up as well as it looked to the naked eye. I don't think it is really. Oh well. I like it best when you have the sunlight shining, shining and making the lovely colours but it doesn't want to play and I don't have time to mess around until it plays. She says trying to make it happen but it isn't. <laughs> um, so what's in this little building here? Toilets by the look of things. That's changed because when I was young it wasn't like that. Anyway, we're going to uh, start heading down. Um, We'll have to just come back and film up here another day, preferably when it's not quite so windy. Thankfully, the wind's obviously not been able to ruin anything so far. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful view. It's there. <laughs> Good boy, Ben. So, come on, leave it, leave it. Unfortunately, now walking into the wind. Ben. wells from this angle it's quite it's very famous you could google it because there's only really I think one white wells that would pop up and that sign there in front of it says north south east and west where I'm actually facing north south east west yeah I'm facing west Anyway, we're going to carry on walking down. I might actually have to stop filming anyway because I think it's going to be too windy, which is a shame. But we'll give it a whirl and see. Come on, little Ben. Good boy. I've got loads of pictures which I've taken. Good lad, come on. From all around here. Um, what I'll do though, on the other segment, which got cut off, I will put it on um, despite the fact that it's not ideal but yeah I will I will upload it because I filmed um there's like a little mazy thing it's just stonework basically but the reason why it's quite I think it's quite interesting it's because it's um obviously you know stonework and freemasons and all that and it's on the way just just down it's just literally at the bottom of this hill so now it's lovely when you walk this way in the winter time because this is an amazing waterfall. But I'm thinking that there might not have been enough rain for it to be anything too marvellous today. To show you where we're coming from, there's that beautiful tree that we all stood by and 
white world is peeping from behind it. Doesn't really look that extraordinary from this angle because it's blocked. Little Benjamin, you're very itchy today. Thank thankfully the wind's not too bad at this moment in time, which is a blessing. And I'm holding the camera really close to me. The only downside of that is I can't see a thing. <laughs> Keeping it close to my stomach, trying to shield it. So, helps with the wind, but it probably doesn't help with the uh, what we're getting to see. Our oh, mum's going to kill me. I'm definitely going to be late. Well, no, it might not be. It's quarter past six now. And um, I reckon I can be at my car in ten minutes. And then, I feel like I'm going away. No, I'm not. No, we're about to walk into the waterfall area. But I don't think there's going to be a waterfall out this area. Just a little trickle by the look of things. At least this tree is shielding the wind. I've got some great pictures of this waterfall from winter time. Can't wait to film it when it's like that. Nice, Ben. That nice little drink. So, of course, these must be healing waters because we've just come from the from the healing white wells. I'm probably should stop calling them healing waters. Uh, natural spring water is more accurate, <laughs> or the waters which were believed to be healing. Little Ben. You're a cutie. Oh, I missed that wonderful jump he just did. Well, much as I love water, there's not very much here to see. That looks quite good, doesn't it? Look even better if we could get the clouds as well. Which we kind of have. And the glass. <laughs> Boy, Ben! Just going to show you the heather. I mean, it's so purple. It's just gorgeous at this time of year. Especially when you've got the blue sky above it. Right, we need to keep moving. Of course, in the winter time, this is covered with water all across here. When I started filming, we were at the bottom of this screen here. There's actually a bit rushing out. I just can't get the angle. Oh, look, the cur... Oh, gosh. They're definitely up to mischief up beyond, up above us, I mean. Spraying. Can't see which way it's going out. It's going that way. If we zoom in and see what we can see, I mean, seriously, there's no way you can call that a contrail. It doesn't want to focus. Scandalous, isn't it? And there's also, look, you can see they've been out in force. It's just beyond me how most people don't notice these things. I mean, seriously, most of the time these days, the clouds don't even look like clouds. But, I mean, I know there's some proper clouds here but look at all this wispy stuff it really is scandalous I'm just going to show you where we were that's where we were just standing above that's where the dangle we can get well hmm a bit close really oh we might be able to, I don't want to fall down this bit here but maybe you can see where the water's I mean, obviously in the winter time it looks amazing there. I don't have any photographs of this side of it, only the other side. Hmm. So, it's just all so beautiful, isn't it? It really is. Sorry, little Ben, this must be quite boring for you. I don't think he minds too much. 
He's just happy. Happy to be out and about, aren't you, little chap? So, yeah, the swastika stone is over here. It's a good half hour walk, though, from here. It's not so close. Um, what are you eating, little one? Come on, leave it. Tell you where I don't ever go walking, and that's um, the opposite side of these moors. There's Beamsley Beacon over there, as I said before, and Langbar is directly opposite us. Um, yeah, I, I ride over there, but I don't ever ever walk over there. Well, no, hang on, let me rewind with that sweeping statement I just made. I used to ride over there. I don't really ride over there anymore. Don't have any horses to ride over there. And where I work and film all the time, it's just the opposite side of these moors. Literally. It's so frustrating when I used to live here because if I could have just got straight over the moor as the crow flies, then I would have been at work in like, well, put it this way, it would be three miles tops from here. Anyway, I used to have to drive the long way round. Which I'm just trying to think how far it would be, about 10 miles from here, I guess. Maybe seven miles as the roads go, but oh, it's a real carry on because you're going four miles away and then four miles back on yourself. I think I've got the mileage wrong. It might not. It might be seven miles. I don't know. Mum, I'm sure Mum says it's seven miles from her house, so it has to be a bit further, further from Ilkley. But I don't want to bore you going on about mileage and distances, which are so irrelevant if you don't live here. Oh, I was going to show you my friend's old house from across the valley, but we've walked too far down now to do that. So, I'll have to give that a miss. In a moment, there's going to be a marvellous view of... And it's okay, this one. There's going to be a great view of white wells in a minute. Everyone seems to be out taking pictures today. So, we'll just zoom in. One last time, and then I'm going to switch this off. Ben, come on, it's okay. I'm not doing anything to hurt you. So there we go. Ben! Good lad. Ben! I wonder why he doesn't like them so much. I think it's because they're just standing. I'm going to turn around in a minute with my zoom lens on and we'll get them on camera. Scary little Ben! Yeah. Good boy. You're not like that. Oh, my camera stopped working. No, it's working still. Come on then, little one, we need to go. Good boy. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, I don't have a lead with me, so really... We need to go... Come on, Ben, we're going to go this way. Come on, because I haven't got a lead. Don't want to go the roadway. I don't really know if we can get down this way, but we can try. Oh, yes, there's a nice little path here. Good boy. Well, oh, God, Mum's going to kill me. I should be at the car now. This is terrible. Whenever I end up filming, I always end up being on this tightrope schedule. Well, I wasn't, though, today. I had a whole hour to kill. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Until that phone call ruined it all. So we can get down this way. That's where we want to be. Can we get down this way? Hmm. I'm not so sure we can. Hard to tell. Well, we can definitely get down the other way if we go here and then turn left. I think that might be the wiser option. Oh, it's so muddy everywhere. Look. A little slippy slippy. Good boy, Ben. Oh, yes. Marvellous. So, it's the last time I'm zooming in because I don't have time for it, really. 
Cow and Calf Rocks are just the opposite side of there. Ouch, I'm walking through thistles. Right, come on then, little one. It's not even, I can't even call mum to tell her that I'm late because, well, I can if I switch the camera off. It's just I was going to carry on filming until it runs out. There's only five minutes left anyway. So, you know what? I don't think I should need panic too much because I'm not going to be more than five minutes late. So long as I stop doing this, which I'm about to do for one last time. There we go. White wells. White wells topped off with chemtrail haze. We'll just have a quick look to see what's happened. Yeah, you see, look. Look at that. Scandalous, isn't it? And there's more. They're everywhere. Look directly above me. Disgusting. Now, normally when I've been filming, I've been quite lucky because we've been missing out on all this, but not today. I might uh, do the unthinkable and put myself back on camera. What do you think? Little Ben or me? <laughs> oh yeah, look at the top of the college build buildings. It's really unusual. It's not a college anymore. They closed it down. It's been made into a residential. But it was the college. It was quite cool when it was because it brought people to Ilkley, young people to Ilkley. Whereas now, unless you're a family, it's not really the kind of town which people would really think to move to. And they were interesting students because, again, Ilkley's not your average student town, so the people that did come, they were all, you know, as Ilkley would call it, they were all desirable types of people. I was really good friends with an Irish girl who had come to go to college. Um, yeah, just trying to navigate through all these thistles and stuff and nettles and little bends having to jump through them. Oh dear, hydrama. Just by, I think that actually they might have converted that building to my left. It belongs to the water board. It looks like they've made it into a house. Ah! <laughs> right, I need to watch where I'm going because <clears throat> look, it's not only fizzles everywhere, but it's all muddy, muddy. Ouch. Um, so anyway, we are actually now where I, almost where I started filming. I started filming just where those trees are. Then, it's going to go this way, little chap. I might even be able to get the uh, start, of, start of this on really briefly. Just trying to scurry because I've only got two minutes before we run out of film time. Good boy, Ben. I wish I knew how to edit the films together. If I, if I can work out how to do that. Ben, just wait a moment. All right, you're safe to go, little chap. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I mean, as roads go, <laughs> that's the entrance to where the college was. Oh, yeah, and we've got the sun. Well, we had it briefly. Right, so we need to go this way. Good lad. This is where we started. Well, we started just below here. Let's see, I don't think we're going to get it on. I think we're going to get that and probably run out of time. But yeah, I started filming just below where we are here. And it was really cool. And I got everything on that I wanted to. And then the phone rang and ruined everything. See, I'm still moaning about it now because I don't like my filming time interrupted by phone calls. I should have thought about that before I bought a camera phone, shouldn't I? Never thought about that aspect of things. Silly. Very, very silly. So, I might be able to get it on before we run out of time. Mum's going to be so cross with me. Well, we've got just enough time to film this bit. There, I, there was more that I filmed, but this is roughly where we started. Ben, leave it. So it says on here, straight the gate and narrow the way which lead off unto life. And they were going to run out of filming time any moment. Oh my God, look at those crows on there. 
flying off. There was two crows sitting on the other one. Wow. I wonder what witchy thing sent them out to us. Timing. <laughs> I did catch them just, but I don't know. I wasn't at the best angle to pick them up, really. Ah, oh dear. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in seeing all of the things which I've had to literally, well, which got chopped out, then there's a probably about seven or eight minutes where I'd started filming before the phone rang and chopped everything off. And this is done. Time's up. So thank you for watching. Please comment below. Bye bye.